We are checking out the most decked halls in the area. Everyone has at least one neighbor who goes all out with their holiday decorations. Yeah, really decked here as we have a holiday home that does not disappoint. Brandy Smith, live at home down in Rochelle as the lights are now on. Brandy. They are actually, Kevin Duke just ran inside to turn on the display. So what you guys have seen at four and five is just a display with all of the lights on, but this is actually synced to music. We've got some Kenny G going in the background right now, and you'll see the lights on the tree behind me twinkling along with it. We're going to ease into some uh, peppier music. Kevin, Kevin, come on over, but I want to start by asking Vicky a question. You guys have been doing this for 22 years. Technology has changed so much. I, I hear you're in charge of programming this super techno tree. What is that like? It's very interesting. Once I get into the programming, I can go in and I can make it do hearts. I can make it do lightning. I can make it look like a lava lamp, fireworks. I can even put donate to St. Jude's or any other text that I want to put in there. I can put it in there and it'll scroll for the, as long as I tell it to scroll for. That is so neat. And it has 256 colors per light bulb. Yes, that's correct. Absolutely amazing. You think about how far technology has come truly. Kevin, I want to bring you in here because I know this is a lot of work. You put so much time and effort into doing this every year. What keeps you going on the days when you, you know, want to throw it all in the garage and never look at it again? We've had a year where everything was going wrong. All the electronics were failing, lights were coming off, and we were about to throw it in the trash. And one year we got a letter in the mailbox, didn't have a stamp on it or anything. I opened it up and it was from a couple in Pearland that said they had come by and seen the display. They loved it. They couldn't tell who was more excited, them or their four-year-old granddaughter jumping up and down to every song that was in the rotation. When you get a, a letter like that, I started tearing up. I read it to my wife, she started tearing up. When you get a letter like that, you cannot stop. I, I can imagine the motivation that would have really quick. Before we go, we have a present to give you guys. Come on over. The whole neighborhood is out here to recognize the Duke family as our first Living in the Lone Star holiday home for 2022. Say Merry Christmas, you guys. Merry Christmas! All right, Rocheron is ready. We're heading to Katie next week. Len and Mia, back to you. Oh, yes. Congrats hey, to them. Duke family. We can't wait to hand out more of those yard signs, and we want to see more magical holiday homes. Send in your nominations by going to khu.com slash holiday homes. That home is right.